Hello everyone and welcome to Magic Marriage Minutes. Today we're going to be talking about how to handle Well, believe it or not, Kemuel actually helped us because today we're going to talk about how to handle interruptions. Reality strikes again. Life has interruptions and therefore married life has interruptions too. Whether that means financial issues, health problems, family dynamics, or anything that throws our definition of normal out of whack. Eric and I have been dealing with interruptions in our relationship since it first started. And that's partially because I have epilepsy. And that means I could just leave the picture at any time with him to pick up the slack. And he knows it. It's happened many times before and it happened again last week, right during the peak of our birthday celebrations and Easter weekend. That's the reason I didn't have a video for you last week. And it's the reason I decided to change our topic for this week. I'm sure over time, I'll have many lessons to share with you that we've learned from our little interruptions. But now, I just wanna remind you how important it is to stay positive for your spouse during these interruptions. If you see that he or she is bearing the brunt of today's interruption, take your turn to be the rock. Now there are many ways to do that, but here's just a few to start with. First, be uplifting in a way that speaks to them. This could be something as simple as telling that inside joke that you know they need to hear, or suggesting you watch a television show or movie that you know will make them laugh. Another idea is to help before they ask. This may mean volunteering to run out and grab dinner or to run that errand that you know is on their list. And it could mean planning to cover the activity that you know has already been scheduled but needs additional help because of this interruption. And finally, remind them that you are there and they're not going to go through this alone and that means that you're there physically in person emotionally there to listen and permanently there so that they don't have to question when I have a seizure our whole world comes to a screeching halt and we have to redefine our roles immediately one big thing I've recognized is how much it means to me when Eric stays positive. It helps me believe everything's gonna be okay and gives me hope for the future. It also refuels me for the time when he's bearing the brunt of our next interruption. And that's what we'll be talking about next week on Magic Marriage Minutes. Click like, and subscribe so you won't miss out on more tools to use during life's interruptions. Which are not a possibility, they're a guarantee.